It's hard to be the first team to perform. And why is that? I think that it just, you don't know what the standards of the crowd are. You just, no one has really seen a routine yet. So, and the judges, you're hoping that the judges are going to stay consistent throughout the routine or throughout the competition, which they do a good job at. You can see standing back tucks already, I and mean, they have the skills in this routine. The standing tumbling alone, already hitting some of the requirements. And Nicole, you mentioned that Roger Bacon Academy Vikings are defending champions. Does that add pressure coming out here, or is there more confidence than anything? I think it does. You know, their, their program alone has won 12 national titles since 2011, so they really have a lot of big shoes to fill. And some of these skills that you'll see require extreme flexibility. It's a great save. And that's a nice double down from those stunts. One thing that makes cheerleading so unique is that you have to be cheering while you're performing skills. It's unlike any other sport. For anyone watching at home who may be new to this, how long is each routine typically? Typically it's about two and a half minutes. And it doesn't sound like long, long time, but when you are out there and you're yelling your heart out, you are just, by the end of it, you're just exhausted. And the adrenaline rush you get, it's, it's amazing what you can accomplish. You're going to see a lot of those kick pulls, those tosses. And for you, Brian, that is a, when they toss them up in the air, they kick their leg. They do a full twist all the way around with their body and then catch. There's a lot going on in just one basket toss. And that must take a lot of strength, a lot of endurance, and take a toll on your body. Yeah, they're, well, luckily they're young and they condition all of the time for this. So they are always in top shape. <laughs> 